The title of the show is inspired by my sister's poem and you know obviously we are working with similar content and she often writes about you know our childhood in Queens but obviously the family history of displacement was pretty significant in the story. It was one of the first things that I was thinking about uh, for this show even before the work um, and then obviously as the work was being made by me um, it suddenly occurred to me that I should just use this line from her poem. Um, it spoke to so much, it spoke to you know, language, it spoke to poetry, it spoke to breath, it spoke to you know, aesthetic and structure. Um, and of course, you know, imagery and material. This is a very specific architectural space and so it is a vessel-like space and so it kind of narrows as we walk towards the two-channel video. And so what I wanted to kind of think about, and I think I succeeded, is that I wanted to think about how the viewer kind of walked through the space. You know, I felt like the objects hold a lot of meaning. They were placed in areas that obstructed or guided the viewer. The theme of the exhibition is the history of my own family's displacement from an area on the Indus River uh, due to the building of a hydroelectric dam and that dam um, is still being maintained and uh, continued to be you know expanded um, and this displacement kind of happened uh, in the late 60s and early 70s and so many of the family members that were displaced are still living and so I got to go back to Pakistan. This was not only my family but also many many other families that were in that area and you know until this day they haven't been compensated some of those families so. I developed my wall drawing process right here in Columbus and I was thinking about while you know I was kind of making the wall drawings as an MFA student I was thinking about um, erasure and so what art traditional materials can be erased um, that's many but I was focusing on charcoal graphite and ink and so I was directly uh, putting those onto the wall and then, um, you know, using my body and, you know, obviously hands to erase those materials. And so for this work, I was also thinking about how the wall drawings will disappear after a show kind of is over. Um, basically, you know, I would paint over it or you know, the prep team would paint over it. Um, and so there would be layers and layers of uh, paint over time on this wall drawing that once was. And so really has it disappeared? Just thinking about like the history of um, a wall or a space. And so another step further with uh, the raft, which is the wall drawing in the Wexner Center for the Arts, I was also thinking about ways in which the wall drawing could evolve and change uh, without me there. And one of the things uh, I wanted, I was experimenting with in the studio is clay, uh, because uh, when I went on this journey on the Indus River uh, back in March 2022, I found that the bottom of uh, this you know, uh, historical river is covered in silt and clay. It has completely changed the ecosystem of the Indus River. And so I, uh, you know, took clay from Ohio and, you know, drew with it directly on the wall. And so you see uh, the clay kind of uh, drying and falling apart. And the drawing that I created on the wall is a mapping of sorts, the mapping of, 
you know, a village wall or even a mosque formation. And so all that um, has just been drawing and falling apart, falling onto the ground. Other things that are on that wall drawing are charcoal and ink and graphite and uh, denim that's pressed into uh, the wall that uh, evokes the Indus River. And then there's also a structure that kind of holds a security camera that's in the space. And that structure is a tent. You can kind of see the taut uh, ropes that extend out of that tent-like drawing and those taut ropes are held down by sandbags. So it creates a barrier. The you know, viewer can't walk up into the space. Uh, they can just watch it kind of falling apart. And you know, the clay kind of falls uh, directly on the floor, but also on the floor you'll see burnt branches. And those uh, branches are actually from a box elder tree that had fallen over you know, a three-year period in my yard in Columbus. Um, and I just you know, collected it over time and had bonfires with friends where we talked about grief and loss. I think the reason I make work is I feel like that's the only way I can communicate. And I am the most happiest when I'm creating. And I think that's a big part of why I create. And um, I, I, you know, I grew up in a Pakistani Muslim household. And, you know, the only significant other creative person that I saw was my older sister. And then, you know, when I went out into the world, um, you know, the other, you know, New York City and um, Jersey and then, you know, Columbus, Ohio. Um, I was seeking community and I was seeking people that kind of looked like me and, you know, were thinking of themes that I was working with. And when I found those people and those, you know, those artists, mainly visual artists, um, it just really touched me. And I find that my work does the same for a younger generation and that, you know, I'm also an educator and so at The Ohio State and so that is, um, I think, very powerful and really feeds the work in many ways.